Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Monday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. Then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Lowry and Powell, the guards. Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And for Chicago, Markin and Carter are up front. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's White in at the point. You know, Steve, for teams that are already struggling big time, what's a sign that the ship is going to be uh, difficult to turn the other way and get back on track? Uh, I, I think, Kevin, uh, body language and obviously what they're saying in the media. There are some teams, you watch them, the guys hit a three-point shot, they come to the bench, no one's up clapping, no one's communicating with each other. Those uh. are the teams I think it's very hard to turn around. Hey, yo, yo, right now, here's Lowry. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Here's Lowry. Rebound collected by Levine. Floats one, and it's Carter missing. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, here's what the Raptors head coach had to say when we talked earlier. There are few players more gifted athletically than Zach Levine. And coach made it clear their focus is trying to contain him offensively. Good luck with trying to keep him between the ball and the basket. All right, David, thanks. And you can't afford to lose Ananobi in transition. As soon as he has a step on you, it's over. Outside, Levine jacks up a three. No good on the shot. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Powell with the bounce pass. Lowry against White. Steps back and fires. And too long on the shot. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Hey, yo, right here. That's all you. Goes back up. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Four shots, four misses, and you can sense a certain frustration building. Marking in against Lowry. Powell for three. Porter pulls it in. The Bulls have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. From the arc, White, good. And the lid comes off the basket after four straight misses. They finally get one. Outside Lowry. Siakam outside. Lays it up off the glass. These are the looks this offense is designed to generate. Siakam deadly close to the rim. And White kicks to Levine. Passes to Markinen. Six to shoot. Here's Levine. Can hit the step back jump shot. Toronto leading by three. Siakam with it. Now guarded by Porter. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Markinen. And let's take a look at Kyle Lowry's numbers. He had a strong showing last season. Last year averaged 14 points per game, eight assists, and five rebounds. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. It's not the monster game that we see from him occasionally, but it's still incredibly impressive. Now here is Lowry. Outside Porter. The shot, no good. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. 
their last game a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They embrace the challenge as well. They hit big shot after big shot to keep the other team at bay. Knocked loose and out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. While we have the time, let's take a look at last season's best transition team. In fourth, the Raptors. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Raptors leading by three. And with Otto Porter, the skills are always apparent with his play. And it's many you just like when he's playing aggressively on the floor. Yeah, it's something that his former coach, Scott Brooks, was always trying to promote to Porter. When he becomes more than just a catch-and-shoot threat, that's when his game is at his best. And Levine, here we go. Toronto's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Powell, the pass to Ananobi. Count it. Ananobi's got his second bucket. White with it. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Memphis. And it was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And really showed their depth when they needed it most on the road having to manufacture points it was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level and it's the bulls with the ball eight point game levine kicks to white and some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Carter with it. Lowry picks him up. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. This is the thing about Wendell Carter. He's got the skill to go with the size. Very difficult to defend. And you look at Wendell Carter Jr., the center out of Duke. Fantastic blend of size and mobility. A lot to like about what he can do. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And with Wendell Carter Jr., we saw flashes of his potential last season. Easy to see why he was a snap pick at seven for the Bulls back in 2018. As he gets more comfortable in his role and his teammates lean on him, he could be a force. And he sinks the second. With Wendell Carter Jr., you love the do-it-all ability, the understanding of the game. The pass to Ibaka, a three ball. Carter pulls it in. Bulls trail by seven. Outside, White. Lock at six. They get it back. Carter, and he uses the glass on the layup. Right there, Carter using his instincts and motor to track down the miss and convert into second chance points. Now, here's Lowry. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And out of UCLA, Norman Powell, an athletic 6'4 combo guard, said he modeled his game after Russell Westbrook. And I can see why. He's gifted physically as well. A 6'11 wingspan, a 40-inch vertical leap. He's more of a two-guard, in my opinion, and he's off to a strong start in his young career. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Powell. Looking at the Bulls roster, there is a lot to like. They have a great collection of talent, and their core players are all very young and improving. And the Raptors making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. 
Both shots good from the stripe. And Steve, for the Bulls fans, their hopes lie in their young core. Totally agree. The Bulls should focus on developing that core. Have a good blend with Levine, Marketing, and Carter. They just need to keep their eye on the prize. Outside Porter. Pass to Markinen. Six on the shot clock. Right side Porter. Yeah, really like the defensive focus and intensity at the start. Here's Hananobi. And the Raptors miss again. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Marking in against Ibaka. Tipped away. It's stolen by Ibaka. Siakam kicks to Ananobi. That one falls. Ananobi's got six. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Levine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. He's 6'5", but he has elite athleticism. Levine with the size to compete on the interior. It's his first trip to the line. Really a, a good season for him overall last year when you look at the number, 83% from the line. Two shots. Relax on the first. Free throw good, Levine. So, Steve, the league has done a pretty good job of curbing player altercations. So some guys always, though, it seems, are going to be ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and will not back down. Patrick Beverly, Kevin, Draymond Green, <laughs> right. James Johnson, yeah. those guys come to mind. They are ready to go from the, from the tip. They are ready to go. And, Smitty, with all that he's been through, you can't question Zach Levine's love of the game. You're so right. It's crazy to think Levine wasn't even a starter in college, but he's worked so hard to improve the way he has fought back from injuries and continually dedicated himself to the game. Something to admire. Now here's Gasol. 11 points for him in that last game against Boston. And it wasn't just the scorn. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Here's Gafford following the basket by Marc Gasol. For three, Levine, good on the three-point shot. He has five. Such great balance and rhythm on this shot. Zach Levine making it look easy. Siakam kicks to Gasol. Now here's Van Vliet, Sadoransky covering. And he's good on the three ball. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now here's Porter. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Known for his range, then also the length at the rim, but Porter showing us he can do it in the mid-range. Van Vliet with it. Sadoransky covering. Siakam outside. Over Levine. Off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's covered closely, kicks it to Levine. There's the dish to Young. It's stolen by Davis. To the paint, stolen by Sadoransky. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. And now just a five-point Raptor lead. You see Levine's filled out his frame, shakes off contact, and completes the play. Here's Siakam. It's blocked. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And checking out some stats for Levine. Coming off a terrific season, he was around 23 points a game, four assists, and four rebounds. And no secret, he can score the ball number one on the team last year. He loves being the go-to guy. You can see it in his swagger. And boy, he sure lit it up last season. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. 
Here's Gafford. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. Good work defensively by Gasol. Pass to Van Vliet. Left side, Gasol. Siakam trying to free himself up. Gasol, no good. Three on three. Here's Young. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. Here's Van Vliet. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Porter against Powell. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Gasol. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And boy, are they attacking the paint. As he enters his mid-30s, Marc Gasol showing no signs of slowing down. If anything, I think he's a better all-around basketball player. Bulls making a switch here. Valentine's checked in, and the Raptors also making a change. Boucher is checked in. One shot. And through his first eight seasons in the NBA, Marc Gasol made a total of 12 three-pointers. Nowadays, Greg, he'll make more than that in a month. <laughs> and, and you ask around, he's always been capable. A, a great shooting touch. It's, it's just a different job description for big men nowadays. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. We've got 113 left to play in the first quarter. Second shot opportunity and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. For Toronto, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And as a team, excellent. A season Take ago, a about 80% when they Two got shots. to the line. But free throw drops for Powell. And Raptors president of basketball operations, Masai Yajiri, not just doing an amazing job in Toronto. He, he's also had a huge role in the growing of the game in Africa. Growing up in Nigeria, he fell in love with the game of basketball, and he has worked his way up. Now he's given a hand back, building pathways for others to follow in his footsteps, bringing the development and leadership to the continent. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Levine, looking around. Five to shoot. To stop the run. Rebound by the Raptors. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Davis against Sadoransky. Outside Gasol, right at the free throw line. The rebound by Young. Bulls trail by 12. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now, here's Levine. Last game out, 36 points for him. From deep three-point range, domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Raptors lead by 12. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment.
And let's listen to Pascal Siakam talking about the work ethic of his teammates. And Greg, when everyone is working hard, it builds a chemistry. And a culture. Kevin, winning teams all have it. It's not enough to be here. You want to win. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance from the Raptors so far. Uh, you could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively, also keeping them out of sync. Sadoransky runs the point with Levine at the two. Valentine out there with Young. And it's Gafford in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Davis finds Gasol. Shoots over Sadoransky. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. That's a high percentage look for Marc Gasol. He loves to face up and knock it down. It's stolen by Davis. Draws hey. contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Steve, nothing finer than having a star on your team who also makes everyone else feel better, feel involved, right? You're totally right, Kevin. I talked to a lot of these general managers and owners, and they talk about they're looking for the unselfish star, not just the star, the unselfish star. And what they mean by that, on the court, off the court, the guy that understands it's about team versus him. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, after five years as an assistant in Toronto last season, Nick Nurse moved to head coach of the Raptors, and the team responded, winning the franchise's first NBA championship. Nurse has been at this for three decades. He got his first head coaching position at the age of 23, and he has moved all throughout basketball, both domestically and abroad, guiding 15 teams in five different countries. And after winning it all last year, Kevin, he's finally made it to the top. David, he sure has a long and winding journey. Thank you. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Now here's Van Vliet. Nine points last game out. Stolen by Sadoransky. White drives in. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. White's got eight points. Yeah, under control. White has those short, quick strides. Now here's Van Vliet. White covering. A wide open look for Gasol. And the Raptors miss again. Still trying to find the range. He hit one in the first quarter. Nothing since. That one's good, and the Raptor lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Sedaransky. Now here's Van Vliet. Outside Gasol. Fires the three. Trains the three-pointer. He's got nine. I love that. You see the poise of Gasol running the offense to perfection. Carter against Gasol. And it's Carter missing. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender, right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Outside, White. Here's Sadoransky. Carter, right side. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. They get Marcus Gasol. And even as a rookie, you could see the consistency game to game from Wendell Carter. Very dependable on the glass and on the scoreboard for a player so young. 
And with Carter, he's only going to get better over the years. The upside is easy to see. He always finds ways to contribute to this team. Not sure if he'll be a star, but he'll be a rock on the offense and defensive end for a long time. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. And the Toronto Raptors knew in trading for Kawhi Leonard that he might not stick around. Even after his decision returned to his hometown of Los Angeles, Greg, the Raptors have to feel good about the way it all worked out for him. Kevin, the first championship in franchise history, and now they set about working their way back to the mountaintop. Some talented young players and quality vets, not to mention an outstanding front office. I think it'd be a mistake to count them out. Now here is Lowry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the baseline jumper, no good. Bulls trail by 11. Here's Markinen. Here's Carter. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Well, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside for Lowry. Left side, Ibaka. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And the Raptors lead by 11. Right into the teeth of the defense. Ibaka just too athletic to stop. Outside, Markinen Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Van Vliet. Shoots over White. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Shot from the low block. The shot by Valentine. No good. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Bounce pass from Lowry. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Passes it to Sadoransky. Inside, Carter. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Nine points for Wendell Carter. Wendell did this against high-level college competition. Consistently showcased the ability to score with efficiency. The wide open look here for Ibaka. And that one hits back iron. And so Markinen will bring it up for Chicago. They trail by six. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Sadoransky looking around. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Van Vliet. Down low. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. And only six feet tall in shoes, Fred Van Vliet's not the biggest, but his toughness, Greg, his toughness mentally and physically is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him that perspective. Friends and family gone too soon. What's Basketball that? was the path to something better. Smitty, you played with the U.S. national team. Would you say they allow more physicality in FIBA than they do in the NBA? No, I, I think, Kevin, different parts of the game, there's more physicality, like on the free throw line, boxing out, uh, like going up for rebounds. They li let a lot more than we're used to go. But usually the NBA players adjust, and they find their way. Markin in from outside. They get it again. And then Carter with the jam. With the nine-foot standing reach, Carter has no trouble putting that away. White against Lowry. Ibaka outside. 
sinks the three-pointer. Ibaka's got seven points in the game. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. White drives in. And that's how you do it. Ibaka still able to surprise people very quick off the floor. Lowry against White. Lowry's shot is good. And now a 12-point Toronto lead. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Feeds it to Porter. Now the pass to Carter. Slammed home and he draws the foul, a chance for another point at the free throw line. It's gonna be on Siakam. A tough physical player who doesn't mind mixing it up. Wendell for the and one. For Chicago, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Zach Levine's checked in for Denzel Valentine. And the Raptors also making a change. Powell, he's checked in for Ananobi. That's good from Carter. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Stolen by Levine. Pass break. Here we go. Carter left side. Over Ibaka. And it's Carter missing. Raptors leading by nine. Here's Powell. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Levine's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Markinen. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Ibaka's got his fourth rebound in this one. Powell, no one around him, cans it from downtown. Powell's got 10 points. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Now here's Levine, guarded closer. Now taking a look at some stats for Porter, a very nice season for him last year. Last year averaged 14 points per game five rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Relax. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Free throw good, Levine. And with this team, Zach Levine has been thrust into the role of the leader. Still young in his own right, but as a rising star and a large part of the future, responsibilities have fallen in his lap. Good on both. You're having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. White against Lowry. To the inside, here's Van Vliet. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Levine dishes to White. Pass to Markinen. Shoots over Van Vliet. Good on that shot, and with that, the Toronto lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Markinen. And for Levine, he is the best scorer on the team. And you know what, Smitty? He should be a leader. You're right. And that isn't something that's easy to step right into. After losses pile up, you feel more pressure and want to take over every game. Zach Levine should be up to the task, but it will take some adjusting. Now here's White. Eight points for him. Five on the clock. Markinen kicks to White. And it's blocked by Ibaka. The drive by Siakam. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. What I love now, Siakam can put the ball on the floor. He wasn't asked to do a lot of that in college, but he never stops improving. Shooting two. They throw good, Siakam. And the Bulls had Boylan step in as an interim coach last season, Smitty, but decided to give him the keys to the car 
this year as well. A surprise move as Boylan immediately was at odds with the players. Management sided with the coach. Interesting message to send to a young team looking to develop. He doesn't get the second one. And the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam got better in every statistical category. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Here's the teardrop, and that one good. When you are Lowry's size, you need to have a strong floater, and that was a beauty he just put up. And it's those diamond in the rough players that so often elevate the top teams. And Greg, that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam. No doubt, the 27th pick back in 2016, now a full-time starter on a rookie contract, just over two mil this season. He is due for a big raise. Lowry, good. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. White against Lowry. Markinen kicks to White. Back to Markinen. Here's Levine. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Levine's got four points now in the quarter. This is the capability Zach Levine has. Can score on all three levels. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Siakam with it. Now defended by Markinen. Pass to Gasol. Nice D from Levine. Pass to Markinen. Now Levine over Gasol. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Toronto. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's Toronto with the advantage at the half. They have a nine-point lead. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on the Bulls. Well, they shot under 40% in the first half. There's your deficit. They missed some open looks, wide open. But overall, I thought the offensive staff looked for their coach to draw up some specific plays to try to jumpstart them in the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. A fantastic game from Wendell Carter in this one. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the paint, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? Force the defense to prove that they can stop it. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. On the wings, Powell and Ananobi. And it's Lowry in at the point guard. It's tipped. And what you like about Siakam as a rim protector, the strong fundamentals, able to affect shots without fouling. Well, last season, Pascal Siakam more than doubled his scoring. Dramatic improvement as a shooter from the perimeter and the line. Shooting two.
and he knocks down the first one. And we've seen his shooting improve, but Siakam also very dangerous off the bounce. Yeah, reason why, Kevin, he's becoming a great ball handler. They trust him to press the attack and to get into the lane. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Zach Levine has all the physical tools and a skill set with an incredible high ceiling. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Kyle Lowry is hard-nosed, as we all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. You got to be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. And Kevin, that's what made him from Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. Well, I don't know about running into the metal pole, but that sounds, that sounds painful. He's certainly as tough as he can be. David, thank you. The Raptors have shot the ball well from the free throw line, eight of nine. Two shots, relax on the first. And the first one drops. Well, the Raptors' Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season. Greg is an NBA head coach. The first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it. Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe. And this summer, he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup. Well, you look at guys like Otto Porter, Greg. He just brings so much with his consistent outside jumper. And, and guys, he's shot threes at a tremendous clip the last few seasons. I mean, really for his whole career. Sometimes can be a bit passive, so you just make sure he's involved and looking for his shot. Now, here's Porter. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. An efficient facilitator when he's asked to do it. Porter with the sweet dish. Siakam against Markinen, and that one drops. Siakam's got five now. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Here's Porter. Sweet little floater. The ability to beat people off the bounce, something Porter's worked on, and you see it working from him there. And the pass to Ibaka. Lowry feeling it out a bit. Siakam trying to free himself up. Lowry, good. He's got eight. That's just smart work from Lowry. Didn't panic there. Powell against Levine. Count that one. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the side. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Young's checked in for the Bulls. Sadoransky comes in for White. Davis is checked in for the Raptors. One shot. Free throw good, Levine. Raptors leading by six. Lowry up top, Sadoransky covering. It's deflected. And here's Carter, 14 points for him. Levine with it. And Young now, top of the key. Down low, here's Porter. The shot off that time. Ibaka with some nice D. The drive by Siakam. 
laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Siakam's got his third basket of the night. Such a fluid mover off the bounce. Siakam gets to his spot before the defense can react. Sadaransky, the pass to Porter. Here's Levine and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And in recent seasons, we've seen Serge Ibaka involved in some extracurriculars. He can get a little chippy out there. Yes, indeed. Last season, he had a three-game suspension. Penalties can escalate for repeat offenders, something he's got to be aware of. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, last season, a season of change for the Bulls. They missed the playoffs with a 22-win season, and they did have a change of head coaches. Not the results many hoped for going into the year. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Chicago. And the Raptors also making a change. Boucher has checked in. Well, Smitty, as you said, the Bulls were a pick by many to compete last season. Yeah, and this team, they continue to tinker with this roster. They made the trade for Otto Porter to be a part of their future. And you know what? The rebuild continues on. Bulls trail by six. Pass to Levine. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got three assists now in this one. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Zach Levine has won several dunk contests, but he still amazes me. Toronto with the ball after the Bulls pick up two. Pass to Lowry. The 10 footer. And that one goes long. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Now here's Sadaransky. Defense right on him. Here's Carter. It's good. This game is all even. Carter's got 16. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. And the foul on Wendell Carter. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Raptors. Siakam against Carter. Rejected by Young. Valentine passes to Levine. Sadaramski with it. Covered by Van Vliet. For the lead. And that one is off. And Toronto will come the other way. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Passes it to Ananobi. Now, here's Siakam. He has seven. Can they get it? Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Thaddeus Young. Nice rebound by Siakam. Has the seven-foot, three-inch wingspan to get to the ball and the big hands to control it. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year, 78%, so not too bad. Marcus Gasol's checked in for the Raptors. And Siakam, no good on that one. You know, we see every year one or two guys drafted toward the end of the first round contribute well for their team. But Pascal Siakam has gone well beyond that. Now, here's Sadaransky. Here's Gafford. The shot's good on the assist by Sadaransky. Sadaransky's got assist number five here tonight. Siakam looking around. No shot. The pass to Gasol. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. You gotta love this tonight. Mark Gasol is having his way on the offensive end. Sadaransky bounce pass. 
Here's Levine. And he comes up with the deuce. Levine's got 25 points in the game. Boy, you could see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up, but it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. Now, here's Siakam. He's got nine. Young with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Here's Sadoransky. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. The Toronto Raptors knew Kawhi Leonard might leave. But plan B is to build around their young players. They've got some good ones, in my opinion. Two shots. Relax on the first. First one falls for him. You know, the Raptors have done a great job of finding quality players, Steve, uh, late in the draft and developing them into contributors. Yes, Kevin, and one of those guys is Fred Van Vliet. He went undrafted. A long rebuild was never in the cards for Toronto. They're competing as those young guys develop. Siakam hits them both. Chicago's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Outside, Levine. And Gasol comes to help. Levine kicks to Sederanski. Back to Levine. Just five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. The shot by Valentine, no good. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep one. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And Gasol sends it back. The former defensive player of the year, Gasol, showing his stuff. Siakam passes to Gasol. Boucher kicks to Van Vliet. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Raptors with one of the best benches in the league, and Fred Van Vliet, a leader for that group. Yeah, he gives up size every night, Kevin, but he's able to overcome that thanks to his toughness and IQ for the game. Two, two. The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Got a piece of it. Here's Boucher, and Siakam has it in the corner. Pass to Valentine. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Levine passes to Gafford. Young, right side. Tries again. Gafford misses. And here's Gasol. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 17 points was their biggest margin. Van Vliet kicks to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet from past the arc. And the three ball is good. Van Vliet's got five points now this quarter. Oh, that's great awareness. That's a great pass. Credit Siakam and the work he's done to understand where everyone is in this offense. Chicago calls timeout. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position.
So for the Bulls, Markinen, he's checked in for Young. Porter comes in for Valentine. And it's wide in for Sadoransky. Norman Powell's checked in for the Raptors. Now here's Markinen. He has five. White dishes to Markinen. Pass to Levine. Davis with the double team. To halt the run, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. I mean, a great decision by Zach Levine. Could have forced one up, but he's trying to keep his teammates involved. Now here's Davis. Here's Powell. Banked in off the glass. Powell's got 13 points. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. White finds Levine. Porter, bounce pass. White the pass to Levine. One criticism of Jim Boylan before getting extended was his offense. Called too slow and too methodical. He addressed that this offseason by getting a top assistant to redesign the offense. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Davis. Good on the second free throw. 131 left in the third. Siakam passes to Ibaka, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. And here's a look at some stats for Mark Gasol. Good season for him last year. Put up about 13 points per, eight rebounds, and four assists. And for a reserve big man, not a big drop-off when he checks in the game. Totally. You want your team to at least hold court when the reserves come in. He definitely keeps you solid up front. And there's the bucket from Markkanen. Another place where marketing and size really comes into play. He can shoot over anyone from mid-range. Now, here's Siakam. 11 points in the game. It's Powell on the wing. Just five on the clock. The three-pointer off the mark. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against it. White against Ibaka. White the pass to Markinen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now just a two-point Raptor lead. That's just a power move by Markinen. The seven-footer playing big. Siakam outside. And that's a foul called on Lowry Markinen. That's his first foul of the game, or in the bonus, will go to the free throw line. One shot. One shot. And the free throw, no good. You know Marc Gasol's brother, Powell, he was a top three pick. Mark fell to the second round and had to work for everything he's achieved. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Now, here's Lowry. He's got eight. Passes it to Van Vliet. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Van Vliet's got 15 points. That's what you get from a veteran playmaker. If you get open, Lowry will find you. Outside, Levine. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Levine's got 17 points here in the second half. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. It's the Raptors leading by three. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment.
Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Raptors leading by three. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Porter and Markinen, the duo at forward. And it's Gafford in at center. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now here is Ibaka. Shot clock at five. The Raptors need to get a shot off. Lowry from outside. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got rebound number five here tonight. Porter kicks to Levine. Back to Porter. From the left block. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. And so Ibaka will bring it up for Toronto. 17 points was their biggest margin. Powell, that's good. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. Bulls trail by five. White the pass to Markinen. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Chicago. On defense, Toronto. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. White, good. And what stands out to me about White, he's confident but resourceful. He's going to find a way to help you win. Lowry finds Ibaka. Stolen by Markinen. Here's Levine, and the jam by Levine. And we've seen this before. Zach with the ability to put up points in bunches. Outside Lowry. The pass to Powell. Marking in on the double team. Shot clock at six. Ananobi, good. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. And White kicks to Markinen. Hey, yo, right here. Carter left side. Dishes it to White. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Toronto making a change here. Siakam's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Raptors took some heat for parting ways with reigning coach of the year, Dwayne Casey. But his successor, Nick Nurse, guided this franchise to an NBA title. Tremendous self-belief and determination. The only NBA head coach who was also a head coach in college, the G League, and overseas. He's been preparing for this for a long time. And here's White following Kyle Lowry's three. Porter passes to Carter. Screen, screen, screen. Looking to get back on track here and finished off by Porter. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young big. Bounce pass from Lowry. Powell dishes to Lowry. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. Markinen finds White. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Carter. And it's all evened up. And really, after trailing the entire game, they've got to be feeling good about evening things up. Definitely. But this is the time when you want the momentum. Late is when you want to impose your will. 
Siakam, it's good. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. And White kicks to Levine. With some arc, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Boy, is he really getting after it here in the second half, just drawing a ton of fouls. Levine against Siakam. Here's Ibaka, and the Raptors hit again from deep. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And here's Levine. Serge Ibaka making his last triple. White with it. Lowry picks him up. Fast break Toronto. Lowry leading the charge. And Siakam throws it down. Coming into the league, Siakam's defense was well ahead of his offense. As you can see tonight, that's evened out. Now here is Carter, and it's blocked by Ibaka, and he gets it back. Outside, Markinen. Pass to Levine, trying to get open is Carter. Offensive rebound. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Carter's got 20 points. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Lowry against White, and Siakam throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Levine passes to Porter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And over the last few seasons, Kyle Lowry scoring, trending downward. His assist increasing, though, dramatically, relying more on his teammates to get the job done. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And we've seen Lowry settling for more perimeter shots in recent years. I mean, he's always had a great motor, but, but you have to adapt as you get older. Some back issues starting to creep in, and important for him to stay healthy along the way. The Bulls making a switch here. Sadoransky's checked in, and Porter drops them both. In his last year of college, Porter got to the line five times a game. But in his NBA career, he's gotten there less than one and a half times a game. Now here is Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Sadoransky against Lowry. Lowry brings the double. Now Sadoransky, and the shot is good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. One shot. Free throw good, Sadoransky. Toronto's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Powell against Levine. Siakam passes to Lowry. Rebound by the Bulls. 
Carter's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And Zetaransky kicks to Levine. To take the lead, here's Carter. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. It's three on three on the fast break. Ananobi, good. Ananobi's got four points this quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Markinen passes to Levine. Carter outside. And Markinen throws it down. Lowry marketing with his size. He has decent hops also, and he can finish above the rim. Lowry with the ball. Now defended by Levine. Lowry, good. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Serge Ibaka. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the timeout, I listened in on Jim Boylan's huddle. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now, here's Markinen. Set up, set up. Pass to Porter. Pulls up. Markinen trying to break loose. Porter, no luck. Raptors leading by three. Passes it to Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Aggressive move from Siakam, putting all that length and athleticism to work. To the paint, here's Levine. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Greg, last season, the best scoring average of Serge Ibaka's career. Even with a down year as far as his three-point shooting, Ibaka's still very efficient, getting more of his offense around the rim, playing some at the five. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Levine. That one is no good. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. Slammed home and they call the foul. He's headed to the stripe for one more. And the muscle that Ananobi possesses, fantastic at gutting it out through contact and finishing. Two seasons at Indiana for OG Ananobi and the 23rd pick of the 2017 draft. Greg, talk about his game. You know, NBA ready physically from day one, you know, still working for consistency with the shooting, especially at the free throw line. But I like his potential as a two-way player. An accomplished family for Ananobi. His father's a professor. His brother played pro football. And OG Ananobi, he's put together like a football player himself, a powerfully built player for a wing. Now here's Levine. 
Here's Carter. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Raptors leading by seven. Siakam passes to Powell. He kicks it to Ibaka. And the Raptors tack on two more. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. He dishes it to Levine. Inside, Carter. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting two. That's good from Carter. Carter hits them both. Raptors leading by seven. Siakam outside. It's stolen by Carter. In the corner, it's Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. Here's Powell, and the layup falls. And the Raptors lead by nine. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Levine against Powell. Now here's Levine, D right on him, and then Carter with the jam. Beautiful find by Levine there. Takes his time to survey the floor. Toronto's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Siakam outside. To the middle. It's Abaka. That time on the assist by Siakam. Siakam's got assist number eight here in this one already. Powell with the steal. 141 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Here's Levine. The Raptors getting the bucket. Sadoransky in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Toronto leading by 11. Siakam outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Yes, people have been surprised by Siakam's offense. What I'm surprised about is the efficiency. And the first one at the line is good. The Bulls making a switch here. White's checked in. Siakam hits them both. Bulls trail by 13. Outside, Levine. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Raptors. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And anytime they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple.
And every win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Serge Ibaka. When it comes to protecting the rim, there are numerous ways to do that. The most excited of those just send shots back, and that's what he did tonight in volume. Porter in the corner. Siakam pulls it in. And here's Lowry. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.